welcome back dear friends i hope you all are good now see here uh, we completed now only whatever acids part in that uh, all uh, reactions of acids preparations of acids physical properties chemical properties of acids then uses of acids now it's time to uh, move further okay so that is our next part so next part here bases what beta here bases okay so we are continue our next part that is bases so as you know bases so here i am sharing uh, with uh, some bases examples okay say uh, your caustic soda naoh okay then caustic potash then your uh, sodium carbonate na2co3 okay so these are what examples of your yes examples of your bases so this na2co3 we can call it as a what washing soda okay then a quick lime okay so see here quick lime then your slack lime coh uh, twice so these are what examples of bases so these bases as you know uh, how they are uh, slippery in touch a uh, better in taste okay and almost all these bases what they are doing yes almost all these bases changes color of litmus from red to blue okay so these are uh, some basic property here understood so generally all these are bases when uh, their uh, aqueous solution what they are giving us yes they are producing hydroxyl ions what they are producing hydroxyl ion oh minus we call it as a what yes hydroxyl ion or what we call here yes hydroxyl ion okay this oh minus so this oh minus what they are showing your uh, compound is what beta basic in nature okay so whatever that base is uh, that base is yes your uh, your metallic oxide okay that base is your metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide also understood and generally what metal metallic oxide these are what bases metallic hydroxide also bases no doubt understood so we will uh, see here some uh normal or basic reactions here about your what basic oxide okay so see your basic oxide suppose if you are thinking about basic oxide so oxide means what yes o2 minus like this basic oxide okay so when it will react with acid so what will happen yes salt plus water so like this reaction say basic oxide na2 this what be the sodium oxide plus h2so4 yes plus h2so4 what they are giving us yes they are giving us na2so4 plus h2o understood okay so this uh, metallic oxide or we can say basic oxide understood so like that but a basic hydroxide also there so when your basic hydroxide like this see here your naoh basic hydroxide plus h2so4 now only we saw the reaction so reaction what do you will get here yes you will get na2so4 plus h2o but in previous lecture we saw the temperature difference above below 200 degrees celsius what sodium bisulfate you will get and above 200 degrees celsius you will get what na2so4 okay so these are simply reaction and uh, you can balance also yes 2na okay so here what beta here 2h2 our reaction is balance okay so these are regarding what beta basic oxides so generally uh, you keep in mind one thing in uh, bases so we saw here basis part okay 
सो वन थिंग हियर कीप इन माइंड ऑल ऑल अल्कलीज यस ऑल अल्कलीज आर बेसिस बट बट ऑल बेसिस बट ऑल बेसिस आर नॉट अल्कली सो बेटा जनरली अल्कली इज वॉट दट बेसिस इट फॉर्म्स बेसिस ऑन डिसॉल्विंग इन वॉटर ओके बेसिस मीन्स वॉट डेट वॉट इज वॉट इज द पॉसिबिलिटी और वॉट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ अल्कली हियर दैट बेस इट मस्ट बी डिजॉल्व इन वॉटर देन एंड देन ओनली वी कॉल इट इज अट इट इज अल्कली सोल्यूबल सो सम लाइक दैट बेसिस ऑल्सो देयर इट इज वॉट बेटा इन सोल्यूबल सो सी दैट insoluble okay so in that examples insoluble bases ferric hydroxide okay ferric hydroxide yes formula as like this formula beta as like this see feoh thrice okay then your copper hydroxide yes copper hydroxide copper hydroxide as like this cu oh twice understood whatever these are these bases are not alkalis these bases are not alkalis why these bases are not alkalis because it is insoluble in water okay understood now we will move towards next that is classification of bases what beta here classification of bases okay now uh, see here uh, we will start classification of bases okay see classification of bases so in classification of bases here if you are uh, we will write here like this bases okay so like this now see here what will happen and how classified how it will classified okay so depending on strength first is what beta yes depending on strength understood so depending on strength what we call yes strong bases yes strong bases and what beta here weak bases weak bases strong bases weak bases now depending on concentration depending on concentration what we call this bases depending on concentration yes weak no how weak it is here yes depending on concentration what we call yes dilute okay dilute yes beta dilute bases and what yes concentrated bases dilute bases and concentrated bases and depending on acidity depending on acidity how we can classify depending on acidity yes first one we call it is what mono acidic base yes mono acidic base then second what di acidic base and third one what we call yes tri acidic base okay so these are what classification of bases understood now we will uh, move towards 
in detail in depth of that uh, with a example we will discuss here so depending on strain so ready with this so see here beta depending on strength how we can call depending on strength yes strong basis yes first is what beta strong basis so on the basis of what we call this as a strong basis yes that basis it is completely ionized in water and having high concentration of what oh minus ion yes completely okay see here completely ionized completely ionized in water and what beta high concentration of high concentration of what oh minus ion understood so strong basis see example NaOH aqueous so what you will get here yes Na plus aqueous plus what OH minus aqueous these are example of strong base NaOH KOH okay and suppose if you are considering here weak base so weak base is what yes these are completely ionized so weak basis is what better here partially ionized yes partially ionized in water okay and what better here less concentration less concentration of OH minus in that basis so example C here Veda example we will write okay so say NH4OH NH4OH aqueous so what you will get yes you will get NH4 plus aqueous what better here these are what 4 NH4 plus aqueous plus what OH minus aqueous these are weak base so why we call this weak base because it is partially or incompletely ionized in water another we can write here beta barium hydroxide aqueous so barium hydroxide aqueous how we can write ba2 plus aqueous plus what 2oh minus 2oh minus aqueous understood okay so these are what beta depending on strain strong basis weak basis okay so now we will move towards our second classification so that depending on concentration what beta here yes depending on concentration so depending on concentration how we can say that so in small a how we can say that depending on concentration so concentrated base concentrated base so concentrated base what we can write here concentrated base in concentrated base high amount of base is present okay high amount of base is present say here when high amount of base is present in a fixed fixed amount of solution fixed amount of solution and uh, suppose if you are writing about uh, dilute basis so what we can write dilute basis so beta you have to write in your notebook so what we can write about dilute basis yes dilute basis beta 
when less amount of base present in fixed amount of solution what better here less yes less amount of base is present okay so these are what better here second year classification of bases understood high amount and less amount but but in fixed amount of solution that is important okay that is important now we will say uh, third depending on yes depending on acidity and as you, as you know we discuss beta base we are discussing base acidity and acid basicity okay so see here depending on acid depending on acidity so we uh, further divided small a what beta mono acidic yes mono acidic bases so in mono acidic bases as you know so beta generally acidity how we can number of replaceable oh minus ions or number of replaceable hydroxide and that uh, acidity we can uh, okay we can refer on the basis of number of replaceable oh minus ion or hydroxide ion okay so in mono acidic bases so what we can call this here that bases they are producing on they are producing only one hydroxide ion per molecule okay so one hydroxide per molecule they are giving means what on dissociation uh, with water example what beta here yes koh noh only one oh minus they are giving suppose if you are thinking about aqueous solution of koh so what k plus aqueous plus this oh minus aqueous so beta here one only one only oh minus per molecule on dissolving in water okay so these are example what beta small a mono acidic base suppose if you are uh, writing small b yes small b what diacidic bases so diacidic bases is what yes diacidic bases they are giving or they are replacing 2h minus sign 2h minus sign on dissolving water per molecule per molecule okay so examples so see here examples as you know magnesium hydroxide mgoh twice aqueous solution what they are giving us yes mg2 plus plus what beta 2h minus aqueous and here also aqueous an example uh, we can write one more here yes diacidic bases calcium hydroxide okay so these are what beta here examples of mono acidic and diacidic bases suppose if you are thinking about small c that is triacidic bases so triacidic bases they are producing what they are producing 3 oh minus ion per molecule on dissolving in water beta whatever i am saying you have to write in your notebook okay understood and make notes okay so triacidic bases you see here it has or it contain three hydroxyl groups understood so examples we can write here examples yes ferric hydroxide ferric ferric means what three ferric means what fe3 plus ion 3 oh minus ap3 criss cross method so how it dissociate yes fe3 plus plus 3 oh minus these are also in aqueous here also aqueous yes aqueous understood so these are examples triacidic bases okay 
now we will discuss here preparation of bases what better here preparation of bases so uh, concentrate on this also in triacetic bases so you can write uh, example aluminum hydroxide also as uh, beta you know what is the formula of what yes formula of here aluminum hydroxide it is aloh thrice now we will discuss what beta yes preparation yes preparation of preparation of bases so first here preparation of bases by the action of water on reactive metals okay so here by by the action of water on reactive metals so which these are uh, reactive metals yes calcium sodium potassium these are what yes examples are what calcium potassium sodium these are what examples of active metals reactive metals so see here example calcium solid plus water so what they are giving us yes what they are giving us calcium plus water by the action of water on reactive metal you will get what base along with the hydrogen gas so you have to balance this reaction take here two yes our reaction is balanced okay these are in aqueous these are what gaseous understood so you can complete you have to complete this reaction with potassium can you yes koh plus h2 so for balancing yes our uh, reaction is balanced 2k yes now our reaction is balanced or not see 2k yes here uh, two not will come beta okay say 2k 2k two oxygens are there okay so see here 2k two hydrogen four hydrogen yes four hydrogen now complete understood so see once again two potassium two potassium four hydrogen yes four hydrogen and two oxygen yes our reaction is balanced so here uh, balancing also very much important beta okay so by the action of water on reaction on reactive metals okay so whatever our next reaction that we will discuss in next lecture i hope you understood all okay so take care stay safe and stay home thank you